All right, Shalom. I want to start off by saying, Call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashim Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, um, I'm Brother Taz of War once again, and um, seen his video earlier. Uh, brothers were sharing this on the feed. And, um, and uh man oh man yo uh you know here's a edomite you know which uh to her understanding you know she was she gonna break down in this video on how she understands that we are the hebrew israelites and who was we the so-called negroes latinos west indians haitians and hispanics native and seminole indians all right now she knows that you know and she must have known this as you're gonna see in the video, all right. Uh, she says she was reading the Bible as a child, you know, and and uh, you know, I guess through her years of growing up, she learned she read more and more of the Bible, and she came to the conclusion that the people of the Bible, the real Jews, are who the so called Negroes, man, okay. And um, you know, technically, you know, Jew comes from Judah, you know, uh, Judah is was called the Jews, okay, short for Judah. And, um, you know, now, you know, because that we all are priests, you know, you can say the real Jews are who? The Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites. All right. And, um, you know, and I'm just going to play the video and I got two precepts uh, to bring this out. And um, I'm, I titled this video. Uh, I'm not going to title it, you know, after the title you see above. But why come you Jake's? All right. You can't get it. Here it is. Esau could get it. Edom. This Edomite woman. Let me say this. This Edomite woman can get the understanding, but you Jakes can't get this understanding. You got, it's a shame, yo. It, it is a shame. You got Israelites that scoffing. Let me say this. You got our people scoffing their own inheritance and culture. You know, they're scoffing the men of the Lord, all right, that go out week in and week out teaching this truth. And you're scoffing these brothers because you don't believe. The scriptures say, what if, you know, they did not believe, man? Do your faith make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. No, do slack it. Do your unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. All right? Just because you don't believe doesn't mean that it's not that, that the word of the Lord isn't true. And that, you know, uh, uh, we the Hebrew Israelites, if you don't believe that, all right? You got a lot of these guys on YouTube and especially when mainstream media get their uh coverage and demonizing us you got our people standing tall talking shit can't wait for us to fall you're scoffing the messiah of the scriptures you know the one where you think that you're worshiping when you go to your sunday church man all right when you go and believe in your religion you got guys that saying you know they don't believe in anything which i understand because the religions all right were put out here through esau especially christianity man that is a plantation slavery doctrine. You're not supposed to believe in that bullshit. But what you are supposed to believe is in the truth, man. You know, so how come this Edomite woman can get it, but Jake can't get it? This is the most high making mockery, man. All right, so I'm going to play this video and then grab those two scriptures. Say to me, you said you read Deuteronomy 28 and you said what? I read the whole Bible. I started when I was five because my mama was either going to make me sit there and listen to her read it for an hour a day, talk to her, let me read it for myself. Mm -hmm. it took a while. I was a kid, you know, King James Version. I, I prayed, prayed for understanding, maybe because I was a child and I really meant it, I was able to get it because it started reading that everything I was reading was not lined up with what they teach you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I kept reading. It kept being different. And I was a kid, so I thought maybe I was reading something wrong or I didn't have some understanding. It took me a while for me to realize it wasn't about me being right or wrong. It's the word is right. Mm -hmm. And what the word says is completely different from what they're going to teach you. I'm not going to teach you what's in that book. Got to read it. I was five, started. By the time I was eight, I made it to Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. At the end of Deuteronomy 28, I remember it clearly. I read it. I looked up and I said, wow, really? Wow. This is awesome. I was like, I know the only people that fit what's in this book of who it says that the true house of Israel is, the lost tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. They're lost. You know, they say they're scattered. We don't know who they are. I know who they are. 
It's Four. clear. It's you guys. It's what do you mean by you guys? The folks that were sent through the transatlantic slave trade. Uh -huh. The folks that are still in the lands of their captivity. Israel is in the lands of their captivity. There is no creation of the so-called Jewish state of Israel in 1948. That does not fit prophecy. Uh -huh. Those people over there that call themselves Jews, they call their own selves Ashkenazi. If you go look at Genesis chapter 10, 1 through 5, it tells you Ashkenaz is descended from Japheth. Noah's son Japheth, not Shem. That means he's a Gentile. I'm a Gentile. You know, we're Gentiles. And I mean, like, I wasn't brainwashed. I got the Bible before they do the brainwashing of the program and, and try to make you think Egypt is white, which is ridiculous because it's Africa. So, you know, all that's Africa. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking clearly because I'm reading it. I know what's going on, you know. And, like, I was a weird kid. I thought a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought about things. And, you know, my, my mom, she was really cool because... She never taught me no kind of hate. She taught me to respect. So, so what you say about the one-third? Okay. That Bible that's told me the truth about the fake Jews, uh -huh. the Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died, you know they run everything. I got to throw this in there. They run everything. The media, uh -huh. the entertainment industry, the banking, the world pretty much. All uh -huh. the wars we fight is because they tell us to go kick ass. That's what America is. We are the Satan, Satan's military arm. For why I say Satan, Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died. I know those who say they are Jews, but do lie, and uh -huh. are of the synagogue of Satan. Uh -huh. We done read they Ashkenazi, they Japheth. Uh -huh. I mean, it's clear. So what you say that about the one-third ruling the earth? Okay, well, here's how I know that that's true. One-third, because that's true, so the rest of it's true. You're, you got stories in there, uh -huh. and it's all true. Lines up perfectly. It's all thing that makes any kind of sense. One-third of all nations will be left at the very, very end. You said and of one Israel, third, right? uh huh, one third of Israel. You guys are going to be on top, y'all. All right, and you heard it, man. All right, you heard it, man. Okay. Now, whew, you know, the Lord. Now, this woman, she haven't. Well, what she said, you know, she haven't learned this word by brothers teaching the word. She learned this word by just reading, reading. And what the scriptures say in Revelations, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the first chapter, okay, in the first verse, blessed he that readeth, you know, now am I saying she gonna see salvation, if she's an Edomite, all right, from the seed of her father, no, she's gonna receive judgment, man, punishment, okay, we suffer the consequences of our forefathers, you Edomites gonna suffer the consequences of your forefathers, okay, you, you, you reap the benefits of your forefathers. We reap the benefits of our forefathers. That's how it goes, man. Okay? And I just want to, you know, I want to say, man, Jake, it's, a, it's shame on you, man. Shame on you. All right? You, you niggas and you bitches. You know, excuse my French, but I must give it to you, you know, uh, blunt. You know, you niggas and you bitches, man. Shame on you, man. Most High is making mockery of you, man. And this is why ultimately he's going to destroy two thirds, all right, of you so called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, man. All right, here in America, here in Babylon the Great. The Lord allowed this woman to understand this by reading, okay, according to what she said in the video. And she knows, she, 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 she know the one third is gonna rule. She know that the Jewish Edomites, all right, Edomite, the Jew, yeah, the Jewish Edomites, uh, Esau Edom, okay. She know that they rule the earth. She just was explaining that they run the media, they run everything, and she know that they're the what? Imposters, all right, the fake Jews, man, okay. And she said what? She wasn't brainwashed, you know, for them guys, you got people out here that scoff and say, you know, oh, you was brainwashed. She picked up this doctrine. No, this woman, this Edomite is admitting that she read the Bible when she was young. And as she got up in age, she said when she got to, what, 8? Uh, I forgot. She she got to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And she, she felt like she knew something that everybody else didn't know. She knew by reading, the Lord revealed unto her, who are the Israelites, man? All right? And so now that this word is going out, so, so, um... You know, so, you know, this word is like fire, man. This word is going out like fire. And it's burning the whole earth up, man. All right? By this truth. 
that look, you know, brothers are waking up, man. You know, and guess what? She got it. The, the, I don't know if this a brother behind the camera, uh, you know, asking her or whatever the case is. But the Lord set this up so she can say this, man. The Lord gave, I believe through the spirit, the Lord gave her that revelation and let her understand so that she can do this video right now. All right. And then brothers take the video, throw it up and just, you know, throw it back in your face, man. Y'all throw shit in our face. All right. But this is the truth, man, because we know we have the truth, man. We have 100 percent truth. Uh, us brothers here at Great Millstone, man, starting with our apostles and elders, okay? We know what we worship, man. We know who we worship, man. And we call upon him, man, daily, daily, man. You know, we sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. All right? The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So, you know, I want to bring these two precepts, two precepts real quick. This is Hosea chapter 4 verse 4 verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. So you niggas and you bitches that scoff, misuse the prophet. You know, you Uncle Toms, you you sellouts, you know, you down, you down to, you know, uh, uh, be on the enemy side, man. You down to, you know, hold hands with this Edomite. The scriptures say you're going to be thrust through, okay? You know, you ones that, you know, take up and give your, 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 your uh, time to help scoffers and shit. You know, you, you know, let it be known that you're with him and we, and we ain't, we, uh, we don't know what we're talking about. We don't know the Bible or you know, this and that, this and that, you're going to get your just due, man. You're going to receive a reward. The Lord said, my people are, the dest are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. And that's why you jakes out here getting killed left and right. This is why you women are a bunch of whores, hoes, okay? This is why Esau's gunning you down. You don't even know why. But you're screaming, no justice, no peace, you know? you going out to beg the government to stop killing you, you know? This is why with uh, health, children, these women, these mothers, all right, allowing their children to get vaccine, you know, be destroyed. Soon you're going to take the chip, man. That's what we're waiting on, the chip, man. And guess what? You're going to take the mark of the beast. The chip is the mark of the beast. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of. So it says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So it does no one's innocent. So get this out your mind. There's no baby, no child, nobody is innocent, man. All right, whoever perish being innocent, okay? No one is innocent, man. All right, let me get back to that Hosea real quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, man. It says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So because you reject this word, the Most High is rejecting you. Okay, this is a message from the Lord, man. I'm reading scriptures. I'm not making this up. It says that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. And this is the reason why us Hebrew Israelites, all right, us tribes, the 12 tribes, why we was lost, okay? This is why we catching hell. This is why these curses are upon us, man. Read Deuteronomy uh, 28 chapter, man, okay? You got blessings, you got curses, man. You got to read, man. It says, thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. You got Jake being homosexuals, man. That's crazy. You got you allowing these Edomites to teach your children that it's okay to accept homosexual, homosexual behavior. You're going to be destroyed, man. It says, I will also forget thy children. You understand? So when you, when you think that you're saving your children... You're actually killing you and your children, okay? You have to choose the most high first, man. All right, so let me get this next scripture. Uh, where was that? Right here. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. I'm going to start at 21. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Okay, right now we're blowing the trumpet, man. And the trumpet is the word of the Most High being blown 
on the on the highways and the byways, man. On, and especially, you know, on this uh, platform, these uh, channel waves through the internet. All right, in particular, YouTube, man. Okay, social media, man. The the trumpet is being blown. Okay, the rabbit is out the hat. Okay, it says, "How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long will you gonna see these prophets?" All right, teaching his word and telling you about your transgressions against the heavenly father. How long? Until you, until Shiloh come. It says verse 22, for my people for my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sadish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. This is you niggas and you hoes, man. This is niggas. I'm talking to you niggas. So get mad, man. All right? You don't like it, then repent, man. You know? If if you offended by my by my talk, by, by my words that I speak and read from these scriptures, then you have a demon on you. Okay? It says, for my people is foolish. And it's the Lord. All right? Jeremiah is talking about who? You Israelites. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. Okay? The so-called minority today. Okay? It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. You thought you knew God? You thought you knew the Heavenly Father? Oh, you thought you knew his son? Oh, you calling him Jesus. You calling him Jesus Christ. You don't know him. Okay? You don't even know his name. Okay? You don't even know who you are calling yourself a black African American or an Hispanic or Puerto Rican you know you this you that you Haitian you don't even know who you are how can you know the most high and you don't even know who you are it says they are they have not known me they are sottish children meaning you are stupid that's what the Lord said man he said you are sottish meaning you're stupid and you can't tell me Jake ain't stupid man I'm sorry man I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. You know, it's just something we say sometimes. I'm, I'm not sorry. All right. Because the most high ain't sorry. All right. Jake is stupid, man. Okay. Jake is stupid. You look at these niggas out here hustling on the same block, getting locked up over and over. You know, they got they, they um, niggas mumble rapping and into all the most bullshit that goes on, man. All right. That's why that's why these Edomites be laughing at you, man. Because Jake can't see what they look like. You know? Especially the women. It says, they have not known me. They are sadist children. They have none understanding. Let me read that again. They have none understanding. None. You don't understand shit. But how to roll a blunt. These hoes, these, these Israelite, well, let me say, these Gentiles. All right? Because you're in a Gentile frame of mind. Okay? These niggas and, and bitches... You know, let me say, these these hoes, these bitches, <laughs> you know, all they know how to do is, is, is hop hop on a man's rod, a, a, a different man's rod every other day. Oh, yeah, you you <laughs> yeah, you know how to uh, do it good in the bedroom. But other than that, you ain't got no sense. You ain't got no understanding. You know, you women are crazy, man. Here it is. You, you walking outside with your cleavage out. Barely. You got you got your ass out. And you don't want no man to holler at you or talk to you or say certain words to you. Yeah, that's craziness, man. Like, what are you advertising? If you don't want no man hollering at you and then all men are thirsty and dogs, stop wearing that shit. You confused woman. It says, and have none understanding. You don't understand nothing, man. All you understand is, is uh, folly. You understand social media and how to get likes and views. All right. You understand, you know, that that um, uh, if you don't put on no clothes, you're going to have all these men lusting after you. And the same as these niggas, they don't have no understanding. Their understanding is, yeah, yeah, yo, son, what's going on, you dog? These niggas is retarded, man. It says um, they are wise to do evil. Niggas is quick to shoot you up. Bang, bang. You know, niggas good at that. Niggas is pros. You know, you niggas is full of it, man. You know, you're wise to do evil, man. It says, but to do good, 
They have no knowledge. What's to do good? To come back into the Most High, to come back into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, to repent. You know, become a brother, not a nigga. You know, put off the old man. You know, and put on the new man, which is of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, put on the gospel, the word, man. You know, you become a brother. You don't know how to do good, man. Niggas think doing good. Uh, is uh you know he he knows uh all the basketball teams in the NBA he knows his holds his favorite team niggas think niggas think that a, a, if a man take care of his kids and go to work a nine to five that's a good dude <laughs> you know he take care of his kids he, he take care of his woman yeah he getting money yo he good yo yo yeah I gotta listen his word is gold a nigga go rap a bunch of a bunch of uh, words together that don't make sense and and and, and that's good to you. You niggas are out of your damn mind, man. No, what's good? What to, What is to do good is be what? A man of the Lord, man. All right? Standing for righteousness, man. You know? So, um, may the Lord's message get through to the hopeful elect. And that, uh, you know, you repent, man. And wake up. You know? And uh, may the Lord have his prophecies. You know, if the elect is sealed, man. May the Lord... Uh, May the Lord have his prophecies come to pass so we can get out of here, man. You know, so, hey, I hope this lesson was edifying. Uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakodash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.